So you've now seen the simple steps on how you install the roof single leaf smoke vent. This product here we have is with a, an aluminium insulated cover. It is also available in glass. And also this is a mill finish. You can also have it painted to a standard RAL color of your choice. The internal is always powder coated white. So once it's installed on the roof, as we've shown you, the next step is to connect it to the control system. Sometimes this is done quite a bit later in the building program, but it is possible to open and close this manually with a battery prior to this being installed to the control system. So once the product is installed and you want to open it for access to the roof, you can connect it to a battery. On the end of the motor, there is what we call a lip module and from it is a test wire with a two core cable inside. You can open and close this unit by connecting these wires to a battery. I have a battery pack here. You may have a, a drill battery like a Makita drill or equivalent. 18 volt is enough as long as it's fully charged. So I'm just gonna connect my test kit here to the leads and you can now open it. And this, as I say, might be one of your drill batteries. So we can open it and we can close it by simply reversing the polarity on the two cables. Just a final point to consider is as this is a single leaf smoke vent, it will open to a minimum of 140 degrees, as you can see here. So it is important to check there are no roof obstructions that the lid will hit as this would damage the motor. If there is an obstruction, you would need to rotate the smoke vent to another position if possible to clear anything on the roof.